there seems to be a common notion right now that the rights of the individual must give way to the rights of the larger community. We're told things like what you think personally and your individual freedoms and rights aren't nearly as important as that of the community at large. There are things going on that are bigger than any one individual and therefore we as a community, some might say mob, but we as a community have the right to trample on your individual liberties. While I understand where those who would espouse these ideas are coming from, certainly we understand there are some huge issues that require the work of all of us to come out on the other side okay. We understand that, but that does not mandate a giving up of individual rights and the responsibilities that come with those rights. Sometimes we need a biblical perspective on this, and we have to ask the question, what is it that we were created to do, and how were we created to live, and how does what we were created by God to do reflect the liberties and the rights and then the responsibilities that all of us have? Again, these are important questions, and when we can't navigate that apart from Scripture, we need to go to the source document, and that is God's Word to us. We know that God created man in His image. God created man with a will, with the ability to exercise that will, and that, at times, throughout our history, has gotten man in trouble. In fact, so much of what we're dealing with right now is man exercising his free will. But we know that God has a plan for humankind corporately, but individuals as well. Throughout the Old Testament and into the New, we see that God's plan of redemption is a plan for the individual, that each individual must decide for themselves whether or not they'll keep their eyes focused on themselves and their own self-will, or they'll turn their gaze to God and submit to His will for their life. Each individual must decide if they'll accept God's plan of salvation and forgiveness of sins for them, and by confessing what they believe, that God has provided through His Son, Jesus Christ, the means of redemption and salvation, the individual can find forgiveness. It is individual salvation, extended to all of mankind. What's interesting is we also understand that once a person has put their faith in Christ, they've become a Christian, they've had their sins forgiven, they're then given a mandate by God. We might call this a responsibility. They're given the responsibility to go into the whole world, and instead of doing what is best for them, do what's best for the world. They're told to go into the world and communicate the message of salvation and forgiveness of sins with others. This is a wonderful picture that helps us to navigate what we're dealing with right now. There is an individual will. There is an individual response to what God desires for the individual to do. And then on the other side of that, there is a responsibility that is selfless. We now look at the world that we live in today, and we have to see it the same way. God created us as individuals. And our Constitution, uh, framed by people that understood the Bible, protects the rights of the individual, and it should we should have the ability to pursue what we believe God wants us to do with our lives uh, according to our conscience, pursuing our will, uh, exercising what God has placed within us and having the liberty to do that, that right <laughs> to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But along with the individual liberty to do what we believe God is leading us to do, there is a corporate responsibility. Any person who really understands liberty and freedom understands that they have the freedom to do what they should do, to provide for themselves and those that they care about, and to do what is best for the society at large. Now, how we view what is best for the society at large uh, may be where we're having some conflict right now. What you believe is best and what I believe is best may not be necessarily the same. But the rights of the individual must be protected the liberties that we have ensconced, not only in God's Word to us, Scripture, but in our uh, Constitution, must be protected so that individuals can pursue what it is they believe God wants them to do, exercising their rights and their liberties to find their own way, if you will, while at the same time selflessly serving with the gifts that they have 
those in their homes, and those in their neighborhoods, and those in their communities, and those in their world. You see, this whole thing works best when we do it the way that God designed for it to be done. The problems that we're having right now as a culture and as a society are problems that cultures and societies have always had since the very beginning. Why? Because God's way doesn't always make sense to us and because we as humans want to control the actions of other people. But here's God's way. (laughs) Explain what is best. Protect the rights of the individual to live the lives that they desire to live as long as it doesn't prevent others from doing the same. And then trust that the majority will look at themselves and look at those that they care about and do what is best for others. Societies work best, and homes work best, and relationships work best. When those involved in each have the opportunity to pursue what God has set in front of them selflessly and sacrificially for others. Should we do what is best for society? Of course. Should we do what is best for others? Of course. We're told to love our neighbor. But never should the will of the population at large trample the protected rights and individual liberties of the people who make up that society, that culture at large. Things will move forward in a positive way, in a way that is productive for each person, When each of us understand we have a right, we have liberties protected, and along with those come the tremendous weight of responsibility to do what is best for others. I would encourage you as we consider the conversations being had right now in our world, understand that it is only when the needs of the greater (laughs) meet with the will of the individual when those work together and move forward in concert, that great things can happen.